request for joining. Petrol request accepted. Please release the vehicle pedals. Please release the steering wheel. It looks like a normal truck with another truck and three passenger cars behind it. In fact, this is the first time ever that the Sartre project tests a road train on a normal motorway in everyday traffic conditions. I think it's really impressive. I think we've spent the last two and a half years developing a demonstrator and to be able to get that out onto the public highway uh, and show it will actually work is really, really impressive. I'm very pleased. And the advantages of a road train are many. Convenient, since I can do something else than the actual driving. Safe, since the system will take care of the driving, it will eliminate the human errors. And then fuel efficient, since we use a minor gap size between the vehicles, we will reduce air drag and thereby fuel consumption. The aim of this test just outside Barcelona is to acquire more experience and knowledge about how a vehicle platoon in convoy where a lead vehicle with a professional driver who both steers and wirelessly communicates with four vehicles behind him actually works in practice in normal traffic amongst normal motorists. And it's easy to see the numerous advantages of not having to steer, accelerate and brake yourself. It's quite fun to see uh, the passing vehicles. Uh, they're quite surprised uh, seeing me not driving the car but uh, reading a magazine. They will bend back and see, is she actually not driving? The researchers want to find out how both drivers and passengers experience sitting in a car at 85 kilometers an hour when it's being controlled by somebody else. Uh, I think it gets easier as time progresses and people become more familiar with the technology and they accept it more. I think as generations progress they become more familiar with it and more uh, accepting of it. My, my son, he's uh, asking me questions about this, he wants to see it on the roads now. Within the Sartre project, which stands for Safe Road Trains for the Environment, a three-year-old EU project being run by seven collaborating partners, including the Volvo Car Corporation, they all see the test here in Spain as a very important milestone, where a great deal has been learned. Today we had slopes, we had winds, it was quite windy, a lot of other traffic, it, and it was great to see that the system could, could handle it. So very, very, very positive experience. Although the researchers now know that the technology works, it will be a major step forward to ensure that legislation and insurance companies across Europe agree that this is one of the ways forward to increase road safety and reduce fuel consumption. <laughs>